Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFD webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to move user mailbox from one mailbox database to another mailbox database in Exchange 2019. We can move mailbox or mailboxes from one mailbox database to another database on the same server or between Exchange 2019 mailbox servers using the Exchange Admin Center or Exchange Management Shell. In this guide, we will move the user mailbox from one mailbox database to another mailbox database on the same Exchange server using the Exchange Admin Center web interface. To open Exchange Admin Center web interface, I'm going to click on Internet Explorer and type URL https colon double slash localhost slash ecp and press enter key to access Exchange Admin Center. Click on more information and click on go on to the web page. Sign in as an administrator with the password. In this guide, we want to move the mailbox of our user administrator. The mailbox is currently stored on database at DB01. We want to move it to mailbox database DB02 on a same server. To move mailbox from one database to another database, we need to click on Migration tab. Click on plus icon and select Move to a different database. Let me maximize it. Choose the radio button. Select the user that you want to move. Click on the plus sign to select the mailbox. In this guide, I'm going to use our administrator's user mailbox. Click on Add and click on OK. If you want, you can also include multiple mailboxes as well. Let's click on next. Specify the new migration batch name. Here I'm giving name move admin. Under archives, you have three options. Move the primary mailbox and the archive mailbox if one exists. In our case, we don't have archive mailbox for our user administrator. And that's why we are going with move the primary mailbox and the archive mailbox if one exists. Under Target Database, we need to click on Browse button to select the Destination Database. In our case, it is going to be Database DB02. Click on Add and click on OK. Verify the correct mailbox database is selected under Target Database. And select the Target Archive Database if required. Now click on Next to continue. Select the recipient account which will get the report of the migration task. I'm going to click on Browse and let's select our user Anand Panchal to receive an email. Let's click on Add and click on OK. Here we have some advanced options for batch migration like how to start the migration task automatically or manually. In this guide, we will go with automatically option and that is selected by default. Let's click on New and this is going to create a new migration batch file. Here we are getting alert that migration batch name move admin is in progress, 0 of 1 completed. It was started by administrator on this timestamp. We can also see the progress of migration batch task in the migration view in the Exchange Admin Center. Here we can see status is currently syncing. We can also click on View Details to get more details of the migration. For that, you need to click on this link and that is going to give you the more information. Here we can see identity of our user mailbox and status is validating. Fine. This is going to take some time to complete the migration batch task. After migration completes successfully, the status of the migration batch will change to completed. And that we can see for our migration batch job, move-admin. Let's click on view details to get the more details about migration batch task. As you can see, the mailbox administrator at msoptwebcast.com has completed the migration. Total 317 items were to sync. To download the report for this user, we need to click on download the report for this user link. Let's click on save and click on open folder. 
let's double click on this text file to see the report and at the end as you can see request is completed successfully let's close it let's minimize it and let me close this uh, console and let's go back to mailboxes tab let's click on refresh and select our user administrator we can see administrator uses mailbox is currently stored on database db02 in this way we can move mailbox from one mailbox database to other mailbox database in exchange 2019 using the exchange admin center that's all for this video thank you all for watching this video have a nice day